Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I want to share with you the fragrances that I wore for the week. Uh, I've got some amazing ones to share with you. But before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the Weird and Wonderful family. It would be amazing to have you part of the community. And without further ado, let's get into this. It was Thanksgiving this past weekend and the fragrance that I decided to wear was the new Burberry Goddess. Now, um, the interesting thing about this fragrance is when, when you first put it on, there's a little like kind of like a an explosion of ginger just for a, a, like a couple minutes. And then what you end up with is a lot of lavender. So the lavender in this doesn't smell soapy. It doesn't smell super herbaceous. To me, it smells like a really proper, decent uh, lavender essential oil. Like obviously not that strong. It's really blended well with the vanilla and there's a bit of cacao in there. Uh, but it is so, so beautiful. It's decadent feeling. Uh, there's this, um, almost this kind of thickness to it that makes it feel like you could just kind of bite into it, but it doesn't get cloying at all. So it's absolutely beautiful. It's warm, it's cozy. I think it's quite sophisticated and I love the lavender in this. So I love the lavender in this more than Mon Guerlain for sure. I've never liked the lavender in Libre, uh, but this, just absolutely beautiful. Burberry Goddess has three different versions of vanilla. Vanilla in the top note, vanilla caviar in the mid, and vanilla absolute in the base. So you're definitely getting vanilla, vanilla, vanilla. There's no questioning this is a vanilla fragrance, but this is an absolutely gorgeous one. To me, this is mass appealing. That said, this gets mixed reviews. So anybody that has purchased it that I know of has really loved this. I just think it's gorgeous. I want a full bottle, but right now I have this wonderful, huge sample that Hesse gave me, uh, but I'm burning through it. So I am in love with this fragrance. If you haven't sniffed it, you've got to check it out. It's one of the best. To me, it, it's an amazing fragrance by Burberry. Like I highly, highly recommend this on big time. Like so good. I was in the mood for kind of strawberry shortcake feel. So I started with Bath and Body Works strawberry pound cake. Um, I, I'm not a huge fan of this on its own because it does smell like cake. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be a fan of it? But for some reason it's a little over the top, but I still kind of like it. And it gives me kind of a strawberry shortcake feel. And then I went in with the Chronic Rouge Extreme. Now this one, honestly, I found that this overpowered this. So this fragrance is beautiful for spring and summer. I was tr trying to make it work for the fall, but to me, uh, especially with our colder weather here, uh, this one kind of gets overpowered. It reminds me a little bit, like it's not the same sort of fragrance, but it's in the same sort of family is La Nuit Tresor a la Folie. So this has the fruitiness in it. To me, it comes across as strawberry, but it's actually got melon, pear, and raspberry. But to me, it feels a little bit strawberry-esque. I basically shoved this right into my face. Uh, the fragrance, it has whipped cream in it. So there's this powdery vanilla quality uh, that's in this fragrance. There's some spiciness, there's some sandalwood. I get a hint of spice. Comes across a little bit like sweet caramel. So just imagine some fruits and whipped cream with just a hint of a drizzle of some sort of caramel with a little bit of spice in it is what you get from this. So this is a great fragrance, but it just doesn't hold its own in our Canadian colder weather. So this worked, but this definitely overpowered. Still really enjoyed the combo. The fragrance that I'm like really, really excited about though right now is Mula Mula by Byron. Mula Mula almost feels like an amped up version of the Chronic Rouge Extreme. I don't quite know why, but they kind of remind me each other of each other, but Mula Mula is a little bit more spicy, a little bit more caramel. I'm really curious about Mula Mula, the, the new version that's coming with the extra caramel in it. I think it'll be absolutely amazing, but that one is bitter for the, the winter months. But being I had the big bottle, I thought I'd give it a try, but this the, definitely I'll be pulling that out in spring, but I think I'm gonna put it away uh, for the colder month because it just uh, kind of disappears. I, I think that the longevity on, um, on the Chronic Rouge Extreme isn't uh, amazing anyway, like it's pretty moderate. 
Um, really love it. Love the sweetness, love kind of that powdery, uh, powdery quality that the whipped cream actually brings. Um, but it just kind of disappears in the cold. So I can't wait to wear it in the spring, but I'm really, really wanting uh, Mula Mula because that one will definitely work in the colder weather and it gives me that delicious kind of fruity gourmand vibe uh, for the colder months. Now the next fragrance that I reached for was Raja Parf Parfums uh, Enigma Pour Femme. Now this is very classy, sophisticated. Like I smell it and I instantly feel like, you know, that really feminine kind of sophisticated woman. She smells like this. So it's a gorgeous fragrance. I love putting this on if I have to, if I want to feel put together and classy and sophisticated, this is what I put on. So really, really enjoyed it. It's a little bit powdery. It's just a very light peach fragrance with quite a few florals. So there's rose, I think there's ylang ylang, jasmine, heliotrope. So you get that floral feel, but not really picking out necessarily uh, a specific floral. Probably rose would be the most uh, rose would be the most significant in here. And then a hint of muskiness in this. I just think it smells very feminine and very bougie. And I really enjoy wearing this one. And I literally majorly overspray with this. Uh, and then I can smell it for quite a long time, just get wafts of it every once in a while. But it's not a major great performer, like it could be better in that department. It's a very uber feminine, classy fragrance. And I really enjoy wearing it. Like, I really enjoy wearing it. Now, being we're talking about Roja, um, I had actually reached for a sample that I was borrowing um, of Plum Japanese. So I thought I was reaching for that. So I grabbed this, put it on, and I'm like, that smells amazing but it doesn't smell anything like Plum Japanese. And here it was Elixir Pour Femme Essence de Parfum by Roja. To me, Elixir Pour Femme is like the sister, the kind of a lighter hearted sister of Enigma Pour Femme. I almost think I like this one better. Um, it has raspberry in it and the raspberry is just mouthwatering, like so mouthwatering. Uh, and then the florals are really similar. It still has that powdery feel, but the raspberry is really quite intoxicating. Like it's quite kind of syrupy, but still lots of powder in there. It feels like the raspberry version of Enigma. So Enigma is more peach. This one, very similar florals, very similar dry down really. Uh, but this one has the raspberry. So if you love raspberry, go for Elixir Pour Femme. Uh, if you love peach, go for um, Enigma. Uh, Elixir Pour Femme, uh, I notice a little bit more rose in it. Ultimately, that base with the powder, uh, the heliotrope definitely is there. I just think it's gorgeous. I find that Elixir Pour Femme lasts less time though than Enigma. So Enigma, it seems to do a little bit better. It lasts four to five hours, um, but really, really enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> but I still am going to sample Plum Japanese because I have a dupe of Plum Japanese. I've tried them once before, but it was in the summer and it was just too much. So I wanna try Plum Japanese and my dupe to see how close it is. I don't think it's overly close. Uh, Plum Japanese is absolutely gorgeous. So, uh, but I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> The next fragrance I tried is new to my collection, and this is by Carner Barcelona, and it's called Botafumero. Now, I think I talked about this one once before I was sampling them. It's a slightly sweet, spicy, incensey fragrance. It's actually absolutely gorgeous. To me, this smells like your typical kind of warm, resinous, spicy, cold weather fragrance. I find it to be very, very sophisticated and uh, just really kind of warm and cozy. Now, I think that the, the spice comes from the nutmeg that's in here. This also has patchouli, there's labdamum, lily of the valley, and freesia, which to me is bizarre. I don't notice any of the florals. I'm just getting all of the spice, but this slight sweetness that's there, which I think is from the incense and maybe the Styrax. There's some musk in here too, but I don't really notice that. The longevity on this is major, like majorly good. Like I get eight to 10 hours with this, but um, you know, after the first little while, it sits closer to the skin. That said, I was getting whiffs of it even when I wasn't like going like this. So it, it, it does project decently. 
Um, definitely unisex. I think it's gorgeous. It feels kind of like a Christmassy fragrance somehow. So if you like those spicy kind of warm incensey fragrances, this one is gorgeous. There's a slight sweetness that makes it palatable. It doesn't make it feel, it doesn't feel too woody either. It just smells resinous and, and spicy and decadent. Kind of smells like um, Val had said that she had uh, one of her fragrances from Dua reminded her of a chai cookie somehow. And I, I get that. Like this smells like kind of a, almost a more savory type of shortbread, if that makes sense. Not that there's any shortbread in here, but there's enough sweetness that it feels almost like baking but not quite. So I really, really love this fragrance. I just, I, I'm looking forward to wearing this in the even colder weather because I think that it's just perfect for those like cold evenings, beautiful fragrance. And it's definitely sophisticated enough that you could wear it for a night out for sure. So today I wore so much eye makeup that it defies description. And I don't know why, but it's making my eyes feel really heavy. <laughs> It's just looking at myself and I'm kind of like, I can barely keep my eyes open. I don't know. Maybe I'm really, really tired. <laughs> maybe I'll just do the whole video like this. <laughs> Seriously, I could fall asleep. Okay. Um, last fragrance is Mandorle by Soradora. This fragrance is so mouthwatering and amazing. I just love it. Now this has heliotrope in it again and almond. Very cozy. I think there's leather in this. So gives it, the almond kind of feels a little bit cherry. So when you first spray it, actually feels like you've got kind of a cherry leather fragrance and then it kind of blossoms into this more kind of almondy feel, but you still get that cherry feel somehow. This is so gorgeous. This is definitely like a date night worthy and this is sexy. Like this is sophisticated to me, but I wouldn't consider this sexy. I would consider this cozy. This one is more sexy, even though this one is cozy too. This has Tonka caramel and cacao in it as well. And there's some booziness, the rum. Soradora does their boozy uh, factors and their caramel factors just so, so well. I was gonna say, I thought this one leaned a little bit more feminine than some of the others that I've smelled from Soradora. But I'm not sure that's true. All I know is I think it's a gorgeous fragrance. Really enjoy wearing it. This one lasts quite a long time on the skin and it projects uh, pretty much moderately, I would say. Uh, it's a really fun fragrance. Like a person needs to smell it. If you don't like leather, steer clear because it's definitely... Uh, I got that suede note that feels really quite leathery. This is kind of a more sensual kind of cozy fragrance. Uh, I just think it's beautiful. I really, really enjoy that almond. Actually, I looked, it doesn't even have almond, so I don't know where I'm getting that from. Somehow it feels almondy cherry to me. So that's what I get. Love, love, love this fragrance. It's, it's decadent, it's rich, it's luxurious feeling. Uh, you gotta like the leather, kind of sensual. You just, it's awesome. And that is it. Those are my fragrances for the week. To be honest, the standout for me this week was Burberry Goddess again. I am telling you, that is a great fragrance. Yes, it is just a vanilla for the most part with some lavender, but the lavender is done perfectly. And I think it's one of the most beautiful fragrances of the year. So I absolutely love it. You need to sniff it. And what about you? What did you try on that just blew your socks off this week? Uh, let me know in the comments. And other than that, I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.